Emily, good morning. Denise, Kathy, BC, Rosemary, Myrna, Maureen, Patricia, Diane. Good morning, everybody. Ed at the beach. Good morning. Yep. yep. Good morning. Oh, and I'm still here. Let me start my video. There's the room. Yes. Twenty-four. Good morning. Wow. Great group already coming in today. So happy to see you, <laughs> my regulars, and anybody who maybe is coming in for, for the first time. Welcome, everyone. Sabiha, Felice, Nadine, Petra, Henry, Cindy. Morning, morning. 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 Good morning. Good morning. So great to see you all. Love that thumbs up, Felice. Thank you. <laughs> you're really, you're good with those little chat icons. <laughs> I'm, I am not. So tomorrow's going to be interesting. If any of you have signed up to take my noon class about fitness equipment and the 130 question and answer class it'll be the first time for me that i have mm -hmm. done a class where i have to sit in front of the screen and navigate the chat and all of that and it's going to be it's going to be hectic people it's going to be crazy so we can't wait for it oh, <laughs> when, oh my goodness you're making me so nervous <laughs> and let's talk fitness <laughs> yep, we're going to let's talk fitness at 1.30 and at yes. noon, I'm going to just show and talk a little bit about some home use fitness equipment oh. and um, things that you can do safely at home with small portable pieces of equipment. This is not about treadmills or, or rowing machines, but it's about weights and balls and bands and uh, resistance work. Yep. So I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun, but I'm a little nervous because I'm not good with navigating all the technical parts of the screen. Anyway, and today's class is going to be exciting. I have some new exercises. It's going to be a little bit more challenging. I upped the game today. So I hope you you all brought your, your best energy level this morning because I did... Um, Kind of increase the the challenge for today's class. Uh, Petra, I'm talking about some new classes that are coming uh, tomorrow. I'm I can't do them all the time, but every other Friday or maybe just once a month, I'll do um, a class where I talk about home use fitness equipment and one that's called just Let's Talk Fitness and. They're scheduled for tomorrow at noon and then at 1.30. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, you guys, and share my screen so that we can get started. So I'm excited for a little bit more of a challenge today. Let me move this down here so it's out of the way and put my slides on presentation. Hopefully my computer will load, there we go. Now, we're not doing anything on the floor. I was struggling to find a, a new picture to use. So today's class uh, is morning fitness, and it's the fitness combo. And it's done in a circuit training format, and it's a little bit of everything. I've even added balance work. So we'll do a little cardio, a little weights, and one of our cardio exercises will also have some balance challenge. I'm your fitness guide. My name is Stacy, and I'm from the Keystone State of Pennsylvania. I have a master's degree in counseling psychology, which I used for many years in the school system in Maryland. Um, I am also certified as a fitness instructor and have been since the very original time of certifying fitness, which was in 1985 or 86. And I have been involved in the fitness industry since that time, 
whether on a full-time or part-time basis. I've done personal training. I've taught group instruction. I did corporate fitness. Um, and I even managed, and for a brief time in the 1990s, I owned a small fitness center. I absolutely love fitness. I think it's so important in our lives. And I really enjoy connecting with other adults who believe the same thing and who really would like to improve their health, fitness, and their overall wellness. Yet Set Up is a training and educational platform that helps you learn useful skills from people just like yourself so that you're able to do these wonderful and amazing things. And we do learn from one another. So ideally we can see you and our cameras are on because I do believe this is a community and we're getting to know one another. You all recognize the names of your fellow learners in my classes in the morning. And it's nice to be able to put a name with or a face with that name. So please don't be shy. This is a no judgment zone. Um, we don't care if you're coming in your pajamas or if you aim your camera up toward the ceiling and just like this, we only see your hand from time to time as you're moving with us. So please don't be shy, share your camera. Remember that you can always request a recording after class, email help at getsetup.io and ask for a copy of today's class. If you're joining by the live stream on our website, welcome. We're so glad you're here. Um, but remember the best way to fully participate is to join us and register. That way you'll get the email after class with the um, key takeaways from today's class, some other highlights of other classes you might enjoy and the opportunity to provide us with some feedback. And Get Set Up is not being paid to promote any specific pr products or services. Be sure that you check with your doctor prior to starting any new exercise program, especially if you have health conditions, if you take any medications, if you are recovering from surgery or recovering from being ill or any other condition. And finally, if your doctor has given you some suggestions, recommendations, or specific restrictions regarding limiting your exercise intensity or range of motion, please be sure to follow your doctor's recommendations. I'm gonna go ahead and spotlight my screen so that you can see me. Remember to keep your um, your microphone on mute during our session. And remember that I cannot respond to your chat during the class, but if you um, have something that you want me to know, you can put it in the chat and I do get a transcript of your comments and questions after the class. And if you have a specific question, I will try to address it in a subsequent class. And I apologize, I don't have the time to email you back or respond to each of your individual suggestions. Our TA this morning is Joe. He's with us to help you with any technical issues that you might be experiencing. So if you're struggling with your camera, your microphone, your sound, please reach out to Joe directly in the chat. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so I hope you have your water available this morning. Remember to drink water before, during, and after our exercise sessions. Our combo class, as those of you who are regulars with me know, we do a little bit of cardio. We mingle it. We intersperse it with a little bit of weight training. And I have in today's class now, I have sort of upped the ante, made it a little more challenging, and I have added some balance challenges in each exercise segment. So if you need your chair to hang on to, 
certainly do that. Remember to work at your own pace and take breaks if needed. And we're starting with a march or a walk in place. This is home base. Anytime you need to rest or take it a little bit easier, just return to a march or a step right here in place. And you see that to start out, I am barely lifting my feet off the ground. But as we get more challenging through the exercises this morning, we'll begin to put more energy in our march or walk. So here we go. Let's walk and march right here in place. Keep your diaphragm lifted. Your back is upright, you're straight and tall. Shoulders are down and back. Your neck is lengthened. And you got a smile on your face, right? What have you suggested that I, I remind people to smile during class? And you're so right. And I thank you for that. I have to remind myself sometimes too. So here we are, we're marching in place. And let's take our feet apart for four counts. One, two, three, four, and back together right here. Again, one, two, three, four, and back together. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, back together. Stay right here. All right, apart together. One, two, three, four, and together. Again, one, two, three, four, and together for four. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and apart. One, two, three, four. Let's do four more sets. One, two, three, four, together for four. Apart, together. Apart. One more time. Step touch. Again, you can put a lot of energy into this, but as we do our combo training, we're gonna do three rounds of the same series of exercises. Each time, each round will get subsequent more challenging. So right now we're on the warm-up phase, so we keep things at a fairly low level. We want to be sure that we are bringing our heart rate up gradually. Remember, if at any time it feels like too much energy for you this morning, take it easy. Back it down a little bit. The ways that you can modify are by going more slowly, keeping in your movement smaller. Just think about how to utilize less energy. So slower, smaller, and when we're doing weights, you might choose lighter weights or no weights at all. All right, we're on that step touch. And the next warm-up exercise is heel digs, right and left. We're just um, putting our heel out in front. Right here, heels in front. You lift those toes up toward the ceiling. Heel digs right here. And the next movement in the warm-up series is hamstring curls. Nice and easy, hamstring curls right here. You're simply bending your knee and bringing your heel up toward your buttocks. Okay. You can lift as high as you want in the back or keep it really small and barely lift your foot up off the floor. Either one. Right here. Now those are the four exercises in the warm-up series. So we have a part together with our marching. We have step touch, heel digs, and hamstring curls. Let's take it from the top. Here we go. Marching. One, two, three, four. We're going to do eight to start. And then we're going to go apart together. Here we go. Out, out, in, in. Apart. 
apart. Notice I've taken it up a little bit faster. Just one apart together. And we do 60 seconds of each exercise and we are already 30 seconds in. Apart together. And as you're doing this, you start to think about what comes next. Because we're working our brain as well as our bodies this morning. So what comes after this? Step touch, here we go. Using a little bit more energy, I'm just starting to swing my arms, keeping them shoulder height. Remember, you can take it slower if you like. You don't need to be up at the same pace that I am. And we're doing 60 seconds. We have about 10 more seconds to go. Five, four, three, what comes next? Heel digs, right here. Let's lift those arms up to shoulder height and reach forward. Heel digs, right here. I'm watching the time for our 60 seconds. Heel digs, 30 seconds. Woo! Are you smiling? You having fun yet? We're only partway through the warm up, believe it or not. Already got it moving. 15 more seconds. And you're starting to think about what comes next for our fourth exercise in the warm-up series and it's hamstring curls here we go now i have my arms here at waist height and i'm just pulling back as i lift my leg behind my body right here it is side to side i'm watching the time this is the fourth exercise in the warm up series. We're on the second round. And we're going to go through those four exercises one more time. And I'm sorry I didn't give you that warning with a part together marching that we were taking it faster. But let's try that again this time when we get to that in 10 more seconds. It's just apart step and together step right rather than four steps each here we go marching in place first for just eight to get us squared away we're already counting our 60 seconds and here we go with a part together out out in in out out in in and march how about that taking a little rest in between here we go again out out in in one more time and march for eight four three two one apart together apart together march for eight here we go apart together and march for eight and apart together we have 15 more seconds march for eight Apart together, one more, march for eight, five, four, and we're counting down the seconds. Here we go now with step touch, big arms this time. Remember, this is the third round of our warm up series. Second exercise. 60 seconds for each one. Thirty more seconds. Taking it at your own pace and your own intensity level. Fifteen more seconds. Yeah. 
And you're thinking about what comes next. Do you remember? It's heel digs. Here we go. With big arms now. Really taking up the challenge. Using more energy. Stretching those arms. Keep your diaphragm lifted. Take up space in the room. Take up space. Really work through your reaching, lengthening. Thirty more seconds. Fifteen more seconds, and you're thinking about what comes next. The last exercise of our warm up series, and we're on round three. What's the last exercise? Hamstring curls, right here, and we're going to pull down from overhead because we're using more energy. <laughs> Had a little uncoordinated movement there. I don't know if you noticed. Felt weird to me. <laughs> the important thing is to just keep going. Work through it. Now, if you don't like the overhead arms, keep them right here at shoulder height. Have lots of options here. And we have 20 more seconds. Then we're going to take a water break and move on to our second series. Ten more seconds. Five, five four, three, two, one. That's the end of the workout series. Warm up, sorry, warm up series. We haven't begun to work out yet. Grab some water. All right, we're gonna start the first, first workout series, five exercises. We'll be using weights intermittently. So have them handy if you're using weights with us. We start with a car. Cardio, go to a weight series, back to cardio, weights, and then balance. So the first cardio is knee lifts, front and side, and we're going to alternate. So it's a lift to the front and a lift to the side, but you're not holding it. You're right here, up and side. Keep it low to start with, just lifting the foot off the floor, front and side. Or again, we start out with a low level of intensity and we increase with each round. And we're doing 60 seconds. We have about 30 seconds to go. Front and side, knee lift, front and side. Just lifting the foot off the floor. This doesn't have to be high. And here, if you, have, if you need to balance, we have momentum going for us here. So hopefully that's keeping, keeping your balance in check. We're not holding it. Like when I first initially demonstrated, it's not a balance challenge. This is a movement. Keep it moving. Just a little bit of a lift. Five, four, three, two, one. Grab your weights, light weights. And the first exercise is <clears throat> we're going to lift the weight starting at the hip level to the front, back down, to the side, back down, and behind, back down. All right, so front, side, and back. And we're doing 60 seconds, and you're going at your own pace. And you can modify this exercise by lifting with a smaller range of motion. See how I'm doing here? It's barely a 45 degree angle from the hip level. The full range of motion is up to the shoulder height. Return, shoulder height, 
return. And in the back, it's a small movement because we don't have that kind of range of motion moving our arms to the back. 30 more seconds at your own pace. Front, side, back. Front, keep that diaphragm lifted. Make sure you're breathing through the weight exercises. Front, side, and back. Front, side, back. Five more seconds, time for one more front side back. Side and back, put the weights down. We have a brief cardio interval. Our cardio now is straight leg raises to the back. You're gonna work to keep your legs lifting directly behind your body, not out here to the side or on the diagonal, but you wanna really squeeze with your hips in the back so that your leg is going directly behind you. Now, this is a low lift. You don't wanna compromise your lower back sturdiness for a height. Keep it tight and low. You really only have to just lift your foot barely off the ground to feel that good squeeze in the gluteal muscles. Keeping it directly behind. And here's where sometimes it's handy to have, I'm watching the time, where it's handy to have a mirror in your workout area because I can't always feel if my leg is going out to the side. It almost in my mind feels the same, but I can see it in my mirror when it's going directly behind. And I'm using the muscles that I want to be targeting. Five more seconds. And these will get bigger too. All right, grab those weights, light weights, Arnold presses. That's a compound movement, biceps curl, overhead press. Those of you who are with me for Wednesday weight training know that we do our biceps curl here and we press overhead, return to the shoulders and back. Keep your elbows tight by your waist on that biceps curl. You can do this with your hands facing each other or with palms up. Either way, as you press overhead, make sure you keep the weight slightly in front of your body, right here, not back by your ear, like here, which puts additional strain on your upper back, your neck, and your shoulders. Nice and tight, smooth and controlled movement. Keep that diaphragm lifted and you're breathing, right? 20 more seconds. Fifteen more seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Placing the weights down. Here's the last exercise of our series, and it's a rock side to side with straight legs because here is our balance challenge. Now, although it's straight legs, you don't want your knees to be locked. Lengthened, long legs, but don't lock the knees. The reason you need a little bit of softness in your knees is because they provide shock absorption. Now, you could gradually slow this movement down to test your balance. You have to be straight and strong through the torso with a tight core. And again, this can be a very small movement. Don't lift your foot off the floor very far. And if you're not up for balance today, just put your foot to the side and keep your toe touching the floor. Here we are with our balance. This is really good for us. And I have my arms in toward my body, which is an additional challenge. To make a balance challenge easier, 
you want a big base of support, a wide base of support. Think of how you see or envision a tightrope walker. They always have their hands out to the side and sometimes they have those really long poles and that gives them additional support for their balance. All right, I think I've talked through your 60 seconds. Let's start from the top of this series of exercises. The first exercise was knees front and side. We're gonna add arms right here. Lifting like a fake biceps curl to the front. And then as the leg goes to the side with that knee lift, I'm just lifting my hands here to the side. Front and side. And we're doing 60 seconds. This is round two. We have 15 more seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Grab your weights. We're doing those, those uh, raises with your, uh, with your weights starting at your hips, front, side, and back. Lift to the shoulder height, to the front, side, and back. Front, side, and back. Take it at your own pace. And what range of motion works for you this morning? And back. Front, side, back. 30 more seconds. Fifteen. Front. Side. Back. We have five seconds. Let's do one more round. Front. Side and back. Weights down. Next exercise is straight leg lifts to the back. Straight leg lifts to the back. And we're going to open our arms this time. Okay, keep it moving. The momentum helps keep your balance. And again, not a high lift, but concentrate on the leg going directly behind your body. Tightens up the, the buttocks muscles and gives you additional support for your core. Diaphragm is lifted, abs are tight. Hips face forward. 30 more seconds. Fifteen seconds. Are you smiling? Are we having fun? And five, four, three, two, one. Grab your weights for um, Arnold presses. This is that compound movement, biceps and, and shoulder press. All right. So here we are starting from the hip level up to the shoulders, press overhead, back to the shoulders and down. Keep it smooth and controlled. Modify with a lighter weight or just doing every other repetition with me. Keep the movement smooth and controlled. Keep the elbows tight by your waist on that biceps curl. And as you press overhead, you also want to make sure that your arms are tight in by in, in alignment with your body. So they're not like out here somewhere, but close in over your head. And five, four, three, two, one. Here comes our side to side rock for our balance challenge. Let's slow it down and take that balance if you're able to. 
Remember to keep the knees just soft, a little bit soft. That way you have a little bit of shock absorption if you need to adjust. Feet face forward, toes face the front. And if you're not ready to balance, remember to just keep one foot on the floor as you rock side to side. If you're balancing, you can do this little bit of a leg lift. If you're really balancing, you can hold it. We have 30 more seconds. Maybe you notice that one side balances a little better than the other. Just something to be aware of. I often comment on how our bodies always have one side it's a little bit different than the other. Maybe more flexible, maybe stronger, or in this case, seems to be able to balance better. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. And let's take this series again from the top. We start with those knee lifts. And this time, if you're really up for a challenge, we're gonna reach up overhead and to the side. Ooh, it's a big one. Here we go. So it's up and out. Remember, we're alternating legs. Take this at your own pace and at whatever height for the knee lift works for you. You really only have to just lift your foot. You can keep your toes attached to the floor and just lift your heel. But if you've got all that energy going on today and you can lift your leg, if your hips allow you to have that much range of motion, do a lift to the front and a lift to the side. Arms up and open to the side. We're getting our heart rate up there. And this is the third round of our first workout series. Okay. And we have 20 more seconds of this lovely exercise. Guys, are you smiling? I hope you're having a good time this morning. Waking up your body and waking up your mind. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Grab your weights. Working on the shoulders with front, side, and back. Lifting right here and down, up to the side and down to the back, back to the hips. Whoops, front. <laughs> really uncoordinated today you guys down and back and front don't squeeze your weights you only need to hold them tight enough so you don't drop them front side and back 30 more seconds to the front and side and back Front, side, and back. 10 more seconds. I think we have time for one more front side back. And back, weights down. Straight leg raises to the back. We're gonna do full arm circles now with those leg raises to the back. So the challenge here, not only is to keep your leg going directly behind you, but also to control your arms so you're not just swinging them, but reach and circle around, keeping it in control. Reach, circle around, reach, circle around, reach, circle around and you're taking it at your own pace and lifting that leg at your own comfort level for how high you want to lift it. We have 30 more seconds to go. This one's pretty challenging, isn't it? I'm definitely working up a bit of a sweat here. Lift directly behind, squeeze those hips in the back. 
10 more seconds. And five, five four, three, two, one. Grab your weights for Arnold presses. Remember that Arnold presses are that compound move that starts with a tight biceps curl. And by tight, I mean your elbows are tight in by your body. And then presses up overhead, return to the shoulders and down. 60 seconds. Keep those weights in control. Diaphragm is lifted. As you're doing weight training with these light weights, keep your breathing just at the natural rate and rhythm. You don't have to worry about inhale on the, on the release and exhale on the exertion. That is a technique that's really used for very heavy weight lifting. But we're doing pretty light weights here. So we don't really need to worry about that as long as you are just breathing. The important piece is that you don't hold your breath. 15 more seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Here comes our balance challenge with our Rocking side to side. Holding the arms out to the side. Testing your balance with each leg lift or just rocking with barely lifting your leg, your foot off the ground. And we're doing 60 seconds. Take this at your own pace. Thirty more seconds. Fifteen more seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Let's march, get your water. We have finished this workout series. If you've got your water and you're ready to go with me, we're gonna start our next series with half jacks right here. Remember that half jacks are a modified version of jumping jacks. They're non-impact. So you're only doing half the movement at a time, right? Just one leg at a time goes out to the side. I love half jacks and I love this non-impact version. And you can intensify it as we will do if we have time to go through the next round. You can intensify it by bending your knee and really reaching, speeding up the movement if you would like. But here we are, round one, remember, is a lower level of intensity. So we keep the movement fairly small, small lower arms. We have just 10 more seconds. Went pretty fast, I talked you through it. Five, four, three, two, one. Grab your lightweight weights. We're doing alternating overhead presses. I'm trying to give you a little preview so you know if you wanna go heavier or lighter with your weights. I've been just using two pounds today, not really going very heavy. Alternating overhead presses starts from shoulder height and I'm right here in front of my shoulders. I have the weights resting more like at my collarbone and I just press each one alternatingly overhead 
And remember that overhead means they're just in front of my body. So I can see them. I can see the weights in my peripheral vision. They're not over here by my ear where I have lost control and might possibly put more stress and strain on my shoulders. I'm crouching down a little bit so that you can see me because I realize I'm a little bit out of the frame. So you don't need to do that nonsense with your knees. We just have five more seconds. Three, two, one. And of course, no class with Stacy is complete without a grapevine. So here we go. Step, cross, step, and tap. Step, cross, step, and tap. But we're going to add a balance challenge right here. Step, cross, step. Instead of tapping, give me a reach. Step, cross, step, and reach. If you don't want the balance challenge, remember it's just a little step together right there. Step, cross behind, step and reach at whatever pace you like. 30 more seconds. And reach. 15 seconds, woo! Five, four, three, two, one. Grab your light weights. We're gonna do step side squat or not. So remember with the weights now, you can just hold them right here by your side and we're going to step to the side and whether or not you bend your knees is up to you and back together step squat or not step side and back together you've got those weights and if the weights are too much for you and you're just beginning to work your knees a little bit you don't need to use the weights the weights are optional you can hold them right here in front if you like you can hold them here at your hip. You could even put them on your waist. Step side squat or just step apart together. That's why I call this squat or not. Back together. Back together. We just have five more seconds. That went fast. Four. Three, two, one, weights down for half jacks. Right here. Let's take it a little bigger if you've got energy. Here we are, bending the knee a little bit if you've got that much energy. Raising the arms right here. These are our half jacks. The first exercise of this series, there were only four exercises in this series. I'm trying to get it finished in the time we have allotted. I know some of you are taking another class right after this. You can't stay if we run over time, I understand. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Light weights for overhead presses. Right here, alternating right and left. Overhead, press. Keep that diaphragm lifted. Make sure you're breathing. Lift and return. Lift and return. Lift and return. 10 more seconds. Five, 
five, four, three, two, one. Grapevine with a balance. Here we go. Step, cross, step, and touch. Here's the feeling right here. Now add that balance challenge if you are able. That's it. 20 more seconds. Ten more seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Step side, squat or not, with or without weights. I'm gonna hold on to mine and I'm gonna take a deeper squat this time right here and back. I have my knees over my toes. I'm going down to the level where I'm comfortable. Keeping it the movement smooth and controlled. Smooth and controlled. This really works the hips and the glutes, as well as the quadriceps and the hamstrings. Nice wide stance, toes face forward, knees directly over the toes, aiming in that direction. And you press your tailbone out toward the rear. Five, four, Three, two, one. Grab some water. Stay with me for a brief cool down. Let's take a very gentle walk. Walker march in place, bringing the heart rate back down. Enjoying that feel of kind of being pumped up right now. If you were with me and used up, uh, used some energy, you can even maybe tell I'm a little bit out of breath. Maybe you are too. It's a good thing. And we're just marching and let's take our feet out apart. Just hold right here in the apart position. And then we're gonna just hold and reach side to side. No arms, keep them down here by your side. Just rocking side to side, but keep your feet on the floor. As I go to one side, my heel comes up a little bit, but I'm not trying to balance, just really trying to keep some movement going as my heart rate is returning to its normal rhythm. So I'm not trying to use any extra energy here. Keeping it at a low level. Gradually slowing down. Let's take it to a step touch. Nice and slow. Step touch. Right here, stay right there. Step touch. And march, just walk in place. And then gradually bring yourself to a standing, feet are slightly apart, comfortable position. We're gonna focus on our breath a little bit, if you'll stay with me, for some breath work and some positive affirmations to take with you today. So gradually, as you find your comfortable place where you're able to stop movement, and stand still and listen. And you know what? If you're not ready to stop moving, it's okay to continue a little bit of walking in place. You can still focus on your breath and you can still feel those positive affirmations. 
And I'm going to go ahead and take it to a standstill, bringing my attention to my breath, as I hope you are as well. Noticing the rise and fall of my chest and my lungs as they fill with that great, beautiful, fresh air. And today, our color is orange because I have 24 beautiful, bright orange poppies blooming alongside my driveway that are, they're absolutely gorgeous. And they're over and gone so quickly that I want to hold on to that color today. So inhale a beautiful, glorious, joyful, happy orange color with your fresh air and then as you release I want you to let go of the dark dirty gray depressing worries and anxieties that maybe plague your thoughts from time to time keep you up at night you wake up immediately with that do list in your mind and I want you right now to let that go and instead, just revel in the joy of a beautiful, bright orange, taking in that breath and enjoying this feeling that you worked out today. You deserve congratulations and compliments for being here. One of the things I posted this morning is less criticism, more compliments. I love that thought, right? We're always very quick to criticize mainly ourselves, right? We focus on those negative pieces. And really, I would encourage you to think about any area that you're not happy with that doesn't work well for you. Maybe it's not strong enough or it's not flexible enough. You're not in balance. Think about that rather than a negative. Think about it as feedback. It's simply the area that you have to work on and that feedback gives you more motivation to focus on that area. Today I want you to take this thought with you. I release the need to dictate how things should be in my life and I accept what is and I find the joy in it. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm going to come up to the screen and share my thank you slides. Stay with me. I'm so happy you were able to join me. I truly believe that when we can start our day with some kind of movement and fitness activity, that it's just the most amazing way to challenge our body and our mind, it gets our muscles activated. And I try to encourage you to have a little bit of brain work during our classes by suggesting that you think about what movement comes next. I think it's kind of fun and it helps you to just really fully engage in our exercise work. We do this because strengthening our muscles helps prevent falls and increases our confidence in our ability to perform everyday activities that we want to be able to keep doing independently, as well as take on new challenges like joining community sports for seniors or doing activities with our grandkids if you are blessed with them. I hope you'll take the joy of your accomplishments this morning with you into the rest of your day. And remember the best way that you can thank myself and any of the guides here on Get Set Up is by sharing your experience. You can share on social media by using the hashtag Get Set Up or the at sign Get Set Up. But if you're not on social media, that's okay. Email Liz at GetSetUp.io. And look for these related classes. Ageless Grace is a wonderful class where you get to do some moving. Um, in the time that I watched it, it was seated and it was a lot of movement in a chair and it looked like so much fun. And then there's line dancing classes. So here again, you will activate your brain when you're 
you're learning a dance, as well as the idea that the movement helps your whole entire body get stronger and have more balance. And there's also some yoga classes now that are available every day with the fabulous Christina. And you can look for my next classes. Um, let's see, today was combo. Tomorrow is uh, balance and flexibility on Friday. That's what we focus on. The seated strength training is a Wednesday class and let's get moving is my Tuesday class. Be on the lookout for the class notes that will come to you in the form of an email and know that you can also recommend this class to a friend. And in the email, you will have some other classes highlighted as well as a link to provide feedback. You can also refer your friends right from our website. And here is how to do it on your desktop. If you are accessing and get set up with a desktop computer, it's going to look like this. You'll click on invite a friend and then you'll see this and you can put in right here, you can enter your friend's email address and then you click the orange button and they will automatically get this email that says, just thought you might enjoy this class. If you are on a mobile device like your iPad or iPhone, that referral link is going to look like this. Some different things that you can do with the Get Set Up community. If you're interested, you could host your own interest group. We encourage everybody to get involved this way. You could suggest a new class. Maybe there's something you would like to learn and we haven't provided that yet. Please be sure that you suggest those classes you can also share your organization with us. We partner with assisted living facilities throughout the country, senior living, government and community organizations. But if there's an organization in your town or community that we're not yet involved with, let them know about us. And you can email Liz um, with that email address, Lee, Liz at getsetup.io and let her know the name of some community organizations that we can reach out to. Remember always that you can request a session recording and for all of these things, email help at getsetup.io. Thank you so much once again, everyone. Have a great day. <laughs> bye. Bye. Bye.